This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. The journey to the Cauliflower Alley Club in Las Vegas continues. We're flashing back 20 years in time. Cauliflower Alley Club reunion in September of 1995. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. These guys are having their own baloney blowout. Listen, we're, we're, just, uh, we're just talking about how Don't generous... You want to talk to me. No, no, how generous you are. We're ready to go with your next one. But we thought, and I thought, because we're so generous, that you would get Mr. Atlas a membership to the Cauliflower Alley Club. We'll see what we can do. That's why we have that's why we have campaigns going, Johnny. You've got the fab old bucks. You can take care of it. Let me, let me tell you something. <laughs> if, if he couldn't get a ticket, he will after you get him his membership. Isn't that right, Mr. That's Alex? Right. Thank Let's you. see. But we're gonna go back in time to a gentleman you brother. know very well, Tony. Uh, Angelo Savoldi receives his Cauliflower Alley Club Award presented by his sons and the Golden Boy Arnie Scolan. You know, I I, I uh, knew um, Angelo very, very well. I, I, I knew his son and, and Tommy Savoldi and Mario Savoldi. And if you look on YouTube and you see a match with me and Huck Hogan mm -hmm. in the spectrum, the referee at that time was Mario Savoldi. You know, and, and they were just, 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 just great guys, you know. Took you out to the best Italian restaurant, laugh and joke with you, would drink you underneath the table. Oh. Angelo, you know, in his 70s, we drive two, three hundred miles to escort me and S.D. Jones all up and down the road. And we wow. saw, him and Scola too, we used to always say, that's amazing, them guys, they're in their seventies, and they're still making these trips. Love the business. And, and loved it. Love loved it. Loved every loved minute it. of it. Last time I rode with Andrew, I think it was like 85 years old. I said, Andrew, want me to drive? No, 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 I'm, I'm good, I'm good. And he would drive a 300 mile trip, wow. like nothing, and enjoy every minute of it. Sorry. Tell you all the old stories and everything. We do anything in the world for it. And, and, and his son, uh, Mario and, and, and Tommy, is the same way, you know. Mm -hmm. Tommy's going through a little rough time right now. So that's why I say, you know, it's not just Tony Atlas. Like, I, I hope he don't mind me telling you this, but Tommy Savoy was diagnosed with throat cancer. Oh, really? You know, so, so he having a very, very hard yeah, time. To, yeah, the last time I talked to Mario, Mario was not feeling good about it because him and Tommy, they went, they, they were raised up together. You know, and, and you know, it, 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 he just lost his father. Now, you know, he, he found out that, uh, that uh, his, you know, his brother got throat cancer. So Mario Savoldi is really, you know, but, but, but he's a trooper. He gets out there. He's still struggling. You know, he's still doing the NWA on fire. He's still mm -hmm. trying to, he loved the wrestling business. You know, the wrestling business has been very, very good to him. And, you know, and, and it's, t it's, like you say, it's time for maybe we to, to help those that. Sure. Yeah. I know the Cauliflower Alley Club is aware of it. We send yeah. our best from here in Boston to the Savolis. Yeah. Right now, let's go back in time. September of 1995, almost 10 years ago, Arnie Scolan and the Savoldi families present Angelo Savoldi with his CAC award. There we go. We're going to let the family make this here very, very important presentation to a man that they already honor, but now the Cauliflower Alley Club wants the privilege of being amongst our honorees, Mr. Angelo Savoldi. <laughs> Very closely, he always spoke very tightly. 
you, but you always have a lot of time. And, you know, it's got a very strong meaning of the word boy. You know, it's about the boy, you know. And I grew up, I went to high school to college, and I was wondering what the boy is. So I got a chance to get into the wrestling business. I was in there a few years ago, right? And I got to understand what that meant. You know? And I had a deep meaning to that. I always had a big part of my life was part of that. And then my dad, he then coached whenever I went to was kind of like, hey, Joe Morales, oh, my baby, you know? And I was like, you know, just, like, oh, boy, like my dad's trademark was, oh, boy, you know, back in the day. There were certain things that always followed me. There were beautiful people that I always met, and it was because of my dad, you know? And I, uh, I'm very happy for this. I'm not going to let you all hear tonight. I'm going to show you a lot. Thank you so much. I just want to say a few words. When you look around this audience, look at the back, I see Tommy Dreamer, I see Taz, I see Joe. I see the youth of professional wrestling. But just stop and think for one minute. Look in this audience. Look at the legends that are sitting here. I mean, I'm very fortunate. Unlike my brother, I got to travel. I got bit on. Fred Bluff's knee when I was a kid. I mean, I got these bullets. But it really comes down to friendship. And when you talk about friendship, there's nothing that you can be worse than my dad. Then second father and my dad's friend since 1944, Arnold Skull. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, the colleague, Bob, and Claude. Thank you very much.